Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing? Man, we are back again doing another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to build this Minecraft 118 starter mountain house. It has everything you need to start in your brand new Minecraft 118 worlds and I'm going to show you how to build it right now, block for block. Let's go. And here we go with the block palette. So we're going to be using just oak and spruce. A little bit of cobble with stone and stone brick and a couple little things along the way. The dimensions are super simple. Just find yourself a nice mountainside and carve it in with this exact pattern. Everything's all laid out in wool, so it's super easy. Right here, we're going in one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go up and go down by two. Up again, go down by three, and then just repeat it. A two and another five. And just make sure you're carving this pattern in to the side of the mountain. For the front of the house, you're not gonna need that much more space. Just an extra space of three here, another space of five, extra three to the side here to connect to this corner for your farmland. And this is gonna get pushed back all the way to the end like this. The front part is a little step up to get in and you just need a three spacer here, three spacer here, and three spaces to get up to the top. So let's get it started right now from this corner. So we're gonna get rid of this section and we're just gonna go up with oak logs up by five, like so. We're gonna give it a space of three. We're gonna take another oak log and take it up one, two, three, four, five, six, and take it all the way up to seven. We have that space of three again and we're gonna go up again by five right here on this corner. Now from here, we can get rid of these two and that one, these two and that one here. We're gonna cross beam right at this level and go all the way down. We're gonna pop out logs right on the edges right here going down. We're gonna get some spruce stairs and we're gonna go upside down right underneath these same logs. And then we're gonna go on the inside part. We're gonna go upside downs on those and then upside downs on these here. Place a trap door right on the top bit. And then we're gonna grab another log. We're gonna go right down right here in the front, put one in each corner right there in front of those logs and then another stair facing downwards on top of the logs. Now from here, we're gonna go ahead and use a slab. You can use a full block as well as spruce, but we're gonna go one, two, three right here. We're gonna place a stair, one, two, and three in front. Another stair, one, two, and three. And then from here, we're gonna grab some slabs and we're gonna go ahead and put a line right there at the bottom. Now, right next to it, right next to this log here, we're gonna get rid of that placeholder block and we're gonna place some of this stripped spruce wood. And we're gonna go up one and two right here, right next to this side. We're gonna do the same thing. And we're gonna go up one and two, matching that side. We're gonna place some trap doors right next to them. And then right in front, we're gonna grab some of the oak. And depending if this is on the side of a cliff, like where I have it exactly, or depending on how low or how high you have it, uh, you can go down as long as you want. But make sure you go up by one. It's just one block below this one. And then we're just gonna put a slab on top of that one. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So just make sure it goes to the same level and it looks just like this. Right in front over here is we're gonna have a little bit of a crop field. So this dirt we have right here, or it's gonna turn into farmland in a minute. I'm gonna make sure it goes up to this level right here. And then we're gonna make this awesome pattern right next to it. And when we lift up these logs, it's gonna have this exact pattern just like this. And then right next to it, we're gonna continue that, bring in the spruce, take it up exactly like we did on the other side and match it. So it gets this pattern right here from the top. Now for this farmland section, all you gotta do is maybe take out this back end, put some water back here and just replace the front part with farmland, just like so. For this back end, we're gonna have a nice little window here. All we gotta do is just put a little fence post like that. And then we're gonna replace some of these here with uh, just a mix of stone and cobblestone and stone brick. Just like that, simple. Now for the front door section, super simple. We're just gonna mix a little bit of stripped oak and uh, oak plank. So you can put it in any combination like this, just to make it look nice, random spots, and it should look something like that. And then let's knock this bit down and we're gonna put a door. And I'm gonna show you this part in a second. Now for this top bit here, we're gonna grab some of our oak fence gates and we're gonna go down from here. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Grab some spruce buttons. We're gonna place those right here on those exposed logs. Up here, I'm gonna put an upside down stair of our oak and another upside down stair of oak over here. I'm also gonna grab some spruce trap doors and we're gonna go ahead and put it right on top going down this line right here. And then we're gonna grab some oak slabs. I'm gonna put one on the top, one in the side, one above. And then we're gonna go ahead and do kind of like double slabs until we get to the top right over here and then come right back down just like this. I'm gonna replace this little back part just to go up one more with that oak so that gets covered up. And also gonna get rid of these on the side as well. So we have this look to it. And then let's grab some composters and just cover up the back, just like this. Let's get rid of that little slab right there and we're gonna pop out this log one and two, just like so. And I'm gonna put a little trap door right there. Let's grab a lantern and I'm just gonna hang it right from the top and then drop another button right there. And the house is complete, but let's go on the inside. Let me show you how to set this up. 
Now, the first thing we're going to do before we go inside, let's actually get rid of this bit. Let's make sure that's spruce because we're going to be able to see that from the outside. So now it'll match a lot better and a better transition going in. Now, for the inside part, this is the only space you're going to be needing here. So right next to this wall right here, we're going to carve it in by one. So if you count right here, it's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine right here from this wall section to that wall section. We're going to carve in this little section here, which is a three by four. Then from back here, it is a one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You don't need these pillars here, so this could be the whatever material was there before. And then we're gonna carve out up one, two, three, four, and five from both sides right here on the side here. And then on the middle, we're just gonna have this little section and I'll show you what to put up here. So just for decoration right here on the side, I'm gonna go with some compost or lining. So one, two, and three. I'm gonna turn this side, go one, two, and three. Let's put an oak beam going up one, two, three, four, five, and six right there. Another one, two, three, and one, two, and three. And this goes right up against the wall here. We can get rid of this one here, which is a one, two, three, four, five, and six, which matches this side, just so it could be mirrored to both ends, just like that. So right here, it's gonna be a little furnace wall. So we're gonna add a blast furnace, a smoker, and a regular furnace. Above it, we're gonna add a couple barrels going down. And over here, this is gonna be our storage area. So it's gonna go ahead and put barrels all the way down right here. If you don't have that many barrels, just go ahead and just use spruce. For this side, I am gonna cover everything out of spruce right here on this side and also over here on this end. I'm leaving this part open and this one open here because we're gonna work on a really cool ceiling design. For the ceiling, I'm gonna grab some stripped oak. We're gonna go one, two, and three. I'm also gonna do the same thing here, one, two, and three. And then below it, I'm gonna put some slabs of our oak, another slab section here. Here, I'm gonna grab some strip spruce and we're gonna go one, two, and three here. And we're gonna go one, two, and three here. So everything's being mirrored. Then over here, we're grabbing our oak slabs again and going one, two, and three, one, two, and three. And then let's get rid of this light for a second because we're gonna go ahead and put more oak, but this time the regular one going one, two, and three down there. And then grab our lantern and we're gonna put it right in the middle. So we got this nice little ceiling look going up gradually like this. I'm gonna consider this almost like a little kitchen corner. So I'm gonna put some upside down spruce stairs on each side and then a cauldron in the middle. And I just put a little cake on this side. Let's put a flower pot with a little azalea plant on top. Now for this side, it's gonna be our bedroom area. So I'm gonna put it just a regular cyan bed right there. Get a little trap door of oak, put that on the side. Let's go ahead and put a crafting bench on this side and an armor stand here. And I'm just gonna put some armor on that. Let's put some iron. Yeah, this is a starter house, right? I'm gonna have iron. Up here, it's gonna be like a little bit of a workstation. So I'm gonna put two trap doors right there of oak, one above. And then we can maybe put a stone cutter on one side, a grindstone on the other, just to make sure the stone cutter doesn't fall on you while you're sleeping. Then over here, I'm just gonna put a little bit of a carpet, some red, maybe going down something like that. That looks pretty cool. And then just so it can look good from the inside, I'm gonna lift up this oak over here. You're not gonna be able to see it from the outside, but from the inside, it looks pretty good. So something like that looks nice. And over here, if you wanted to continue a little bit of texturing, just so it can match nicely, it looks pretty good like that as well. Last but not least, I'm gonna put a glowing item frame with a clock in the middle, and then just to spice it up a little bit, how about some paintings? Let's go one on each side. Uh, let me get the other guy, the other guy. The, oop. The other guy, there we go. Just to make it look a little better, just a couple buttons above and below it. And we're done. And that is it. Now, if you wanna get up and down for this mount, it's eh, really super simple. Just put a little ladder here on the side and you're good to go. <laughs> depending on how long you have it, depending on where you have it in your world, that's all you need just to get up here, a little ladder. Just make sure once you have the house in place, you wanna make the area around it looking a little bit better. So you could do little things like adding a little bit of tough block over here, grabbing some moss, just put that randomly, maybe even bone mealing it so it kind of spreads around. Something like this does so much with just so little. Look at that, that already looks 10 times better maybe even add a little bit of coarse dirt adds a little bit more detail and interest around here it looks like the the path has been trampled going up this area right over here that looks really really good and that's it that's all you need and you have yourself an awesome 118 starter mountain house but that is it thank you all so much for watching let me know if you want to see more starter houses and if you want to see others in different styles i'm definitely going to do a bunch coming up for 118 but i'm out of here for now thank you for watching catch you on the next one goodbye